uh, sale. Um, and so you put matter and it warps space time. And so if I have another object, it also warps space time. They feel that and they're attracted to each other. And so that's, a, that's Einstein's picture of gravity. Objects warp space time, feel that curvature, and move accordingly. Oh. Yeah, more mass, it's going to bend space time more. And so if you have objects here, they are going to respond to that, right? And so you put something there, now it's attracted. Now, in reality, that big mass would feel the warping of space-time by the marble, too, right? It would move a little bit, but we usually, we usually ignore that. You know, the Earth makes the sun move a little bit, but it's so small you can ignore it. The moon makes the Earth kind of wobble around a point three-quarters of the way from the center of the Earth. We usually don't uh, uh, account for that when we're looking at satellite motion. Well, instead of just letting go of one, what if I give it a sideways push? Now it orbits. Now it's losing energy, which wouldn't happen uh, in, uh, in the solar system, right? Not noticeably. There's some perturbations from other planets and things, but this one does lose energy and spirals in. Uh, why, why is everything going in the same direction? Well, the answer is it wasn't. Different directions. But there was a preferred direction. The disk it formed from had a slight preference one way versus another, and things going the opposite way got eliminated, and when it's all said and done, everything's going the same way. 